Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Filipina Life with Mia. So for today's video, it's gonna be all about should you move your Filipina girlfriend to the West? So as you know, those who have followed my channel, I have a Western boyfriend who is a few years older than me. And we have talked about moving to Norway, the Middle East, and even to the USA. He is very hesitant because of his history of moving a girl to the West, as well as because of his red billing, as he calls it. So in this episode, I wanted to try to take a neutral look at why it is a good idea or bad idea to move your girlfriend or wife to the West and what you can do as an individual to ensure the relationship stays strong even if you move to the West with all the pressures there, especially for lag or large age gap relationship. So before I start, I would like to ask you to subscribe, share, and like and comment as all this really helps me in the YouTube algorithm, especially the sharing part. Thank you so much for doing that and pause the video, do it now so you don't forget. So for those of you who don't know, I have been with my Western boyfriend for 18 months and he has a channel also called Paul's Asian Adventures. So he has he was married to a Filipina that he met online and <laughs> that should have been his first red flag and he met her with a total of six weeks with three flights to Philippines and <laughs> that should have been a second red flag anyway he has learned his lesson I hope <laughs> meeting someone online and then just a few weeks in the Philippines believe me when I say this you only know what she wants you to know and she will only present the parts that she thinks are positive. So if you are in such a position, I would warn you, do not follow in Paul's footsteps. Reality is, you know nothing about her. However, assuming you have been here to the Philippines and spent months or years with this girl, and now want to move back home, what are the risks of taking her to the West? What warning signs should you be aware of? What about the age gap? How will that affect your relationship in the West? And how about the education level of your Asawa? Asawa is wife, by the way. Everyone is different. But in general, I would say this, the larger the age gap, the more likely things will go wrong. There are few things you can do to minimize things going wrong and I will cover those at the end. So in the West, 50% of all marriages fail and about 80% of divorces are initiated by women. The word divorcee does not even carry a negative connotation. Hell, even single mother is not looked upon as negative in the West. There, a woman is supposed to be independent of the man. In there, you are not a team, but two single individuals that can exit the room anytime you want, for the slightest meaningless reason goodness Paul says you don't even need a reason they call it no fault divorce it's kind of mind-blowing to me to hear how nonchalant people take marriage there but enough about that 
The question still remains. Should you take your fiancé or wife to the West? Well, let's just look at human nature. We are all constantly learning and changing. When the environment we are in changes, so do we. I think this is a natural progression of any human to adapt to the new environment, even what we perceive as negative. We will still adapt to this. The social construct of any country will have a big influence. However, I think the older you are, the more you are set in your ways and more than probably less influenced by the changes in social construct. So, rule one of moving a Filipina to the West is that she should be older and kind of set in her morals and her character. Then, you have to consider that girls in the West are not exactly much to look at from what Paul says. They are mostly whales and hippos there. And basically, he is saying they are mostly overweight and especially those that have hit the wall. And you just have to Google this to see that this is true. I read somewhere online, if I remember correctly, that females over 40 years old are 70 to 80% fat or obese. Not exactly attractive after you are used to a 20 plus year old or something Filipina. But therein lies the problem. The minute you step off the plane, your girl will get looks like she never did in the Philippines. From what Paul says and others I know say, an average Filipina is suddenly like a model in the West. Do you for a minute think it will not go to her head? Let me ask you this, when you came to the Philippines and had a 20 plus year old chasing you, did it not go to your head? So now your Filipina has become a wanted gem. Young engineers, young doctors, young guys that are moneyed and full of confidence want her. How will you fight that off? Your young wife will more than probably want to hang with other Filipinas to get a feel for the old country. How many of those Filipinas have been through the divorce machine and gained monetarily? Now we're dating a young hot studs. You don't think these divorces are filling your innocent asawa with all kinds of ideas. So far, you can tell this this is not looking good for you. Moving her to the West, that is. So, let's look at some positives and how you can avoid the pitfalls. The first is, know your girl. Make sure she is set in her morals and character. That marriage is not a fleeting thing but something that is to be taken seriously. The second one is make sure she is really is into you. Not just with you for the financial benefits, but that she loves your character. I have done several videos about this and see the card above. Third is age difference is important. The younger she is, the more pressure there will be on her from the Western social construct. The more guys will be trying to kill your marriage so that they can get her. So the larger the age gap, the more likely things will go wrong. Even though Paul says he knows one guy who has a 35 year age gap marriage and after 12 years, they are still going strong. I think this is kind of the exception to the rule. Fourth, if you do take her over to the West, please do not let her hang with divorced women. They will fill her head with a lot of nonsense 
and her head will start churning with bad thoughts. That will more than likely lead to an eventual end to your relationship. Remember, we become as the closest five friends. So if her friends are divorced women, she will eventually be one of them. On the other hand, if you have five good girls that have stayed with their husbands and believe in the integrity of marriage, she will more than likely stay married. Fifth, if she is always on social media, this is a bad sign. But this is something you will see while you are here. If she is a girl always seeking validation, taking her to the West will end in disaster for you. Six, to work or not work for your Asawa, more than likely, if you are going to the West, your girl wants to work. She wants to send money to her family. She wants to save. She wants to have a career. Just be aware that work brings many other pitfalls. At work, she will be surrounded with divorced women and people filling her with feminist propaganda. They will look at your age gap and scoff. This is not something they like to see. And even if she is happy with you, they will try to drag her down to their immoral level. What can you do about this? Well, the only things you can do, let her change jobs or confront these people. And as we know, most Filipinas are not exactly confrontational. So this one is hard one to solve. And hopefully your girl, your girl's morals and character are strong enough to withstand the onslaught of this feminist. When in the West, spend quality time together. Go places, do things, create memories that strengthen the bond between you. Do not take her for granted. Yes, if she left you in the Philippines, you had another thousand hot chicks waiting. But you know that is not the case in the West. So put time and effort in the relationship. And in the end, before you go to the West, you guys need to agree to the ground rules. For example, Paul has told me if we go to the West, there will be no girls' night out. And I am fine with that. However, you need to discuss it with your wife or fiancé. Don't wait till you get there. Discuss it now and come to an agreement how you will keep your relationship strong while in the West. Talk about the possible pitfalls of your marriage. You can do it. And for the guys that have assets, make sure you secure it with a prenup and postnups so that if that proverbial sh** does hit the fan, you might be hurt emotionally, but at least financially, you will be okay and can come back to the Philippines and can start over. So, that's the end of my discussion. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing, liking and commenting. Stay safe. Share. Stay safe and God bless. And please don't forget to share this. Thank you and see you.